You told me not to wear my words with a smile. So this was not something I should want to caress in my palms, not a crown I should wear or a check I should cash. We do not have the privilege of being asleep. Our bones ripped from muscle, sharpened and used as spears. This is not a competition, not a talent, only aching and oath. This is no human song. I'm not sure if I've ever been asked harder questions than on the evening I told my mother I was a poet. <laughs> she asks many things I do not have answers for, wonders if I am mourning, if I've spilled enough tears to replace the ink of all the pens I've broken out of frustration, says darling. This is not new to us. This poetry born of so-called illiterate minds of bloodshed and moving and moving. Do you not know you come from nomads? There is no home here or there. There is only journey. There is only pebble ground and bushfire. There is only moonlight and struggle hymn. This can't be a bestseller, an award winner. This can only be truth. Sharing yourself comes easy when the stories you tell aren't your own. You may pray for serenity or the calm of closing lines, but I've learned if you treat every poem like a eulogy, it's okay to feel like something in the room has just died. Okay to profess your words as truths because nobody can argue. Okay to speak from quivering lips and keep hands in pockets. Okay to never look the listeners in the eye for fear of losing yourself for the final time, mother. On the few occasions you've told me you loved me, you made it sound like an apology. This is what I am running from. This is also what I am running to. I do not wear my words with a smile. And sadly, this is one of the few things I have in common with you. Oh, no.